At the University of Lausanne Scientific Police Institute, Pierre Aceva and Olivier Delamont are working on a new technology aimed at detecting synthetic drugs. From basic research to practical applications, this project is backed by the European community. And the aim of this project is in fact to develop a um, prototype to detect precursors that are seized at the border. So the precursors is the necessary product that you need if you want to produce illicit drugs. The forerunners are the basic chemical products used to make drugs. The issue being that they are very hard to detect at customs controls. And that's the aim of this uh, instrument, is to provide to the customs the way of saying that, okay, now we have these uh, barrels, and in these barrels we have some liquids, but this, this liquid is not sulfuric acid. It is something else, and it could be, for example, safrole, that is a precursor to produce ecstasy. Therefore, the idea is to develop an initial prototype of this system, which still does not exist on the market. The real uh, involvement of the UNIL uh, as a partner in the consortium is first in the beginning of the project to develop the different uh, requirements for the prototype and the requirements for the sensing devices. And then at the end of the project, then we will have to uh, test the prototype that will be made and uh, to see if we can achieve the detection of the product that we have here uh, available in our laboratory. This project, called DIRAC, brings together a multidisciplinary consortium of around 10 European partners. Specialized businesses also offer their industrial expertise to this study. You have lots of problematics when you're working at the university, for sure. You're doing some, some research, and most of the time you are quite alone in your, in your labs. And then, with such a, a project, you have some meetings with that person, you can visit their facilities, and it's really a great opportunity to see, okay, I have that problem, but that, per that person, they have their expertise to resolve and to solve that kind of problem. If you are in such a project that is really focused to develop uh, a prototype that is for police, uh, at the end they need to have like a forensic overview. And for the University of Lausanne and Forensic Institute, it's also a way of uh, demonstrating that we have the, the competence to, to give some advice to that kind of uh, project. Mm -hmm.